I found this little corset top on Depop. It smells not good. I've literally washed it three times and it still smells like an old woman may have died in it while holding a cigarette in her mouth. It feels like it was made for me, so I'm choosing to believe that. And like, look what it does to the girls. <laughs> The girls are girling. The girls need all the help they can get and they're getting it. This is for my 90% female audience. If you're the 10% male, get out of here. Unless you're gay, you can stay. Normally I would never wear my glasses like during the day like this, but my eyes have been irritated from my contacts. So I guess I'm just gonna be like a nerd. Fun fact, I've had glasses since I was, I think nine. And at first I really, really wanted glasses because in elementary school, it was like cool to be nerdy. Then I was tired of being known as like the goody two shoes nerd and my older siblings bullied me and I wanted to be the cool girl. So middle school, I literally didn't wear my glasses for all of middle school and was blind like the entire time. My vision is literally so bad. Like I can't tell what anything is. It just looks like somebody smeared grease all over my eyes. So, and then when I got to high school, I just started wearing my glasses cause I was like, I don't give a fuck. And I got contacts and then I like literally became super hot. <laughs> I saw a TikTok where this girl said on the Google app, like if you hum a song, it will find the song for you. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna hum it into the app and we're gonna see who can get it first, you or Google. Sounds like one of these. Ophelia, 71% match. I think that's me though. Like I think I'm just like singing it really well. <laughs> Sounds like one of these. Between the bars, Elliot Smith, 63% match. Sounds like one of these. It got it. Peaky Blinders, red right hand. I'm gonna try to sing off key and see if it gets it. Got it. Sounds like one of these. Got it. How the fuck did it get it? Nobody, no crime. Sounds like one of these. 89% match from that. Speak now, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Sounds like one of these. The man, Taylor Swift, 85% match. Okay, I'm done. Like, that's amazing. Whoever invented that, whoever invented the technology to do that, you should be president of the United States. But only if you're a woman. If you're a man, I don't, I don't mean it. This week is a very exciting week for me. In three days, wait, what's today? Yeah, today's Tuesday. On Friday, I am taking home my little baby cat. For those of you who don't know, I manifested an orange kitten into my life because I am powerful and spiritual and a witch. Like five months ago, I was like, I really want an orange kitten because they're so fucking cute. And I've had Ruby for about two years and I just feel bad because I know she just wants somebody to play with. Like who doesn't? So I was like, I really want an orange kitten, but I'm not gonna go looking for one. Like I need a sign because I didn't know if it was the right thing to do. You know, having another cat, that's a big responsibility and it's a big change. So I told the universe, so I was like, give me a sign that this is the right thing for me to do. I'm not gonna go looking for a kitten. It has to like, come to meet somehow. Literally a month or two later, my mom found a stray pregnant cat, took her in, she had babies, and she had three orange ones. And um, I'm taking one. It's been like a little over two months since they were born. And I've gone to my mom's so many times to visit them. I literally love all of them. There's three boys that are orange and one girl who's a tortoise shell cat like Ruby. My sister's taking one, I'm taking one, and then my mom's keeping two. Literally decided yesterday that I was gonna take him this weekend. And I'm so ready and I'm so excited. I literally go and visit there so much because nothing else could possibly make me as happy as seeing kittens. I am not a very nurturing person. I don't view myself as like a nurturing person except for when it comes to cats. He really lucked out. Like how could you get a better owner? Let's time travel into the future because right now it's Tuesday and I literally can't wait for Friday because I just want him in my hands.
surprised. I am getting emotional. Ruby's already sticking her paws under the door, but I don't know if she even realizes there's a cat in here because she does that whenever I shut the bathroom door. Little Percy. He literally does not seem scared. Like Ruby was terrified when I first got her. She like was hiding behind the toilet, terrified. He's just like walking around exploring. I felt so fucking bad at taking him from his siblings, but apparently in a few weeks he won't even remember them. So I think my little baby boy. He just walked on my lap and laid down. You're too freaking cute. Good morning. It was quite the night. I have absolutely mastered giving myself a blowout. I'm getting my period. It's dreary and raining outside. It's a good thing there's a little kitten running around my apartment giving me serotonin. He's acclimating so well. Him and Ruby are already playing so much. He actually hisses at her sometimes. She doesn't even hiss at him. She's like, she just wants a friend. She just wants to play. Like I put him in the bathroom with me to shower and Ruby opened the bathroom door and let him out. So she literally can open the doors. He's literally the sweetest boy he's just so fearless i guess that's what happens when they're raised in like the best possible environment percy he looks so much bigger on camera like he's not that big your mouth smells like poop that's a little concerning while we're here i wanted to talk to you guys about moons because something very exciting is happening Literally tomorrow, I'm posting this today, Saturday, and tomorrow, Moods is launching our summer collection. If you don't know what Moods is, it's the clothing company that me, my brother, and my sister created, and we've put so much work into this collection. It's tank tops. Wait, I should go put it on. That's better. We have two inch shorts and five inch shorts. We have like the longer ones and the short shorts. We have socks t-shirts and then we have black moods merch and they just say moods on them so if you're not a colorful person we have something for you too i swear to you guys all of this is the best possible quality it is so comfortable i am so picky about the clothes i put on my body because i can't wear certain clothes like i just have really really sensitive skin these tank tops are so comfy and you can wear them to bed and they don't get like loose these just stay tight to your body they're not see-through i mean you can see that i have nipples but you don't know what color they are. We are so picky about the type of material and how things feel. So we have lucky green, happy yellow, moody pink, and lonely blue. Yeah, so that launches tomorrow, Sunday, June 12th. Anyways, my goal all morning has been trying to put this on his head so I can take a picture. <laughs> I have failed. He needs to get really tired and then I'll just pop it on there. sleeping on the couch or they were sleeping now they're awake because I'm making noise and I'm making some tea because I have a headache and this little boy wants to say hello <laughs> I swear to god I get a headache every single day when I was in high school I used to get these horrible migraines where I would see spots and then 30 minutes later I'd have the worst pain in my head then I'd get super nauseous I thought that I got those in high school because food coloring. I thought it was like an allergic reaction to food coloring. I stopped eating food coloring and it stopped happening. Anyways, I would get them while I was in school and I would just leave because I knew that I was in for a wild ride and I hadn't gotten one in six years. And then a few weeks ago I got one and I was like, what the fuck? 
Oh yeah. He's so cute. I don't think you guys understand. Like, he's so cute. I fucking love lemon. I could just eat lemon straight up. I put it on everything. I use it on my salad. I use it in my tea. Yummy, yummy tea for your tummy. Ew. My tea says, friendship is the sheltering tree. What? Well, they're in the other room and I should probably go watch them, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bow out. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Yeah, I have another cat. I just heard someone hiss. I gotta go. Bye.